Here's my simple low-cost method of getting hot water in the summer. About 300 feet of 3 quarter inch black polyethylene pipe. And a 15 watt solar panel running a circulator pump directly. And in this way it automatically throttles the circulator pump to the amount of available heat. And I have it resting relatively flat like this so that it runs the pump fastest at midday and then slacks off when the sun is at a greater angle so as not to cool water that has already been heated. And now you can hear how bright the sun is. But when this is behind a door or a panel, it's really not very loud. But there's your 15 watt, 12 volt nominal circulator pump, readily available at the usual internet sources. And what I've done to make this really easy is I'm just drawing out of the drain valve with a washing machine hose. You want to insulate everything as much as possible. Draws it in here. Sends it out to the roof. And returns on this line back into the bottom of the water heater. Or wherever your cold input is. And I have a check valve here flow indicated by arrow and here to keep things going in the right direction and to prevent the hot from mixing with cold when there's a pressure differential when taps are opened and such. And what I should add here is a small expansion tank because with these check valves when the water heats up and expands it has nowhere to go and pressure builds in the tank. So when you first open the hot tap the pressure is greater than normal and you have higher than usual flow for a moment. And without the expansion tank the pressure can build enough to begin seeping out the overpressure valve. And whenever you open a hot water tap the water just comes in from the original cold line and goes right through outside to the loop and gets preheated first. And so that part is helpful as long as the outdoor temperature is above the temperature of your incoming cold water. So with just the two of us here, we leave the electricity to the water heater off for most of the summer. Unless it's cloudy for a long time, or we need to do a bunch of cleaning. We have a specific application for a bunch of really hot water. It's good enough most of the time. And all you need to do when you need more or hotter water is flip the breaker on for an hour and you have a full tank of hot water. And you're still being helped by that preheating effect the whole time. And then out here at the low point of the outside part of the system, where the roof pipes go into the house, I need to install a T on each one facing down with a valve for draining the system when it's no longer summer. And then right on the inside of the wall, where the pipes go through to the outside, we need this bypass valve set up, where we can shut off both lines going to the outside so the outside portion can be drained to prevent freezing, and open this valve so the water still circulates. And then hopefully by the winter time I can get a heat exchanger so that we can heat the water with the outdoor wood stove here. And I can show you that. Thanks for watching.